and I, I, I do my dog is to, to help other people out, you know. I lost my mother. I think I may have, have said it the last time I lost my mother. My dog is to, to, to help other people out, you know. I lost my mother. I think I may have, have said it the last time I lost my mother. And that's been the most hurting thing that I have had to deal with in my whole life. You know, I wake up sometime and I think I hear my mother calling me. But it's just me and my imagination, you know. I, you know. I didn't wake up one morning and say that I wanted to be homeless. I didn't wake up one morning and say that I wanted to sit on the corner. I had dreams. You know, I, I had... I had a lot of things that I wanted to do in life, but this happens. You know, I'm not gonna always be like this. You know, I, I got another year before I'm 62, and once I turn 62 and start getting half of my Social Security, I can get me a place and everything, and, and move into my own place. You know what I'm saying? And, and I won't be homeless. And when I do do this right here, I'm not gonna get that all close my doors to the homeless people. Now, I'll let some people come in my house and stay, but I'm not gonna let them come in my house and stay if I think that they're they, they gonna steal something from me, you know, because they think we have a problem with our hands because we homeless. Yeah, you gotta watch him. You gotta watch so-and-so, man. You know you're homeless, man. You know you're probably trying to steal from me or whatnot. It's not like that. You know, we got good hearts, man, and we don't, we're not gonna try to steal nothing from nobody, man. At least I'm not. Let me speak for me. I'm not gonna try to take nothing from nobody. You know, if you look over back on that back, Chris will hit it up for you. All that trash over there that's in those bags over there. A couple of days ago, me and another homeless guy got some bags, man. And we bagged all of that trash up over across the street, man. Because, I mean, it reflects where we at. If you sit back and you look at all of that trash all over the ground and everything, they say, look at this right here, trash everywhere. Why should I give him something? So we try to do things on a highway, you know, to reflect what's going on with us. You know what I'm saying? Like I got, we got all that trash up and we bagged it all up. We got the bags from over here at Richmond Redevelopment and we bagged all of that trash up over there, man. It's just something giving back to the, to the neighborhood, giving back to the community, you know. And I try to give back to the community. You know, um, I, I watched a friend of mine the other day struggle for his life. He got shot over here the other day. Wow. And he was struggling for his life, man. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I can go into a little depth with that for you. With, oh, the drug, yeah. with the drug dealer. And he told the drug dealer that he was going to pay him his money. The drug dealer kept on worrying him and kept on worrying him. And, and, the, and my, my boy said, man, you keep on worrying me about some little funky $10, man. You got, them, you got a pocket full of money. And so they got the odds. And, and the next thing you know, drug dealer pulled out the gun and shot him. I didn't see the shooting, but I saw him laying on the ground. He shot him twice. Shot him once in the leg and once in the side. Thank God he survived. Wow. Thank God he survived, man. You know, we go through, I see a lot of people, man. I, I run across prostitutes. I run across uh, drug dealers. I run across uh, people that go in stores, boosters. Mm -hmm. But they all good people. It's just Life. they don't have the means of getting what they need. You know, they don't have the means of getting what they need. They, they say that you go down to social service, but you go down to social service and you try to get your uh, get some food stamps or something. Okay, I'm a drug dealer, and I used to deal drugs. Now I can't get no now I can't get no food stamps because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dealer. I used to deal. Talk about that a little bit, because I don't think most people know how that works. Social Security going down to the yeah, Social well, Security. Yeah, well, Social Service has this thing. If you have been convicted of selling drugs, you're not allowed to get food stamps. Whereas a pedophile, a rapist, a murderer can go right down there right now and get food stamps. What do you think about that? Do you think that a murderer, a pedophile, a rapist should be able to get food stamps when they're out here hurting other people?